I'm pretty sure everyone's up to speed on the whole Apex drama that's going on right now, but for those who aren't, allow me to give you the cliff notes. A couple days ago, there was an Apex tournament that where a very prominent figure named Dilly participated in with his team. During this match, Dilly had teabagged his own t uh, teammate's death box. Just as a little banter between teammates, nothing really to be taken from it. It's just a joke on their team. But apparently the commissioner of this wasn't having this. He had then banned Dilly and his team and disqualified them from the entire tournament. And went on a huge rant about how they're trying to create a safe space for gamers and how they're trying not to be toxic and all that. When everyone was rushing to the fence of Dilly saying he was teabagging his own partner's death box, where's the problem? Well, the absolute soy boy Chad over here, I know that's an oxymoron, decided to double down on his bad take and say, well, it's still not right, it's still toxic, and just because you can hide behind a keyboard doesn't mean you doesn't mean you would do it in real life, would you? Which, hell yeah, I would. If my friend died in front of me, you bet your sweet ass I'm teabagging his fucking corpse. My nutsack is going straight on that chin. There's no doubt about it. That's just how it is. Now, since then... The people behind the event, Fate Legion, have given a statement on this, saying how Dilly was in the wrong, and I never have seen anyone double down on possibly the dumbest take ever. All you had to do was say that we were wrong and that we, you know, fired the commissioner. You don't even need to fire him. Just put him on, like, desk duty or something. Punish him for his soy boyness. That's all you need to do. But no, they come out and state how Dilly is in the wrong, even to go as far as reach into the EA terms and terms of conduct, which I've never seen be played before. That is literally the Karibo of fucking cards to play. Why on God's green earth would you go as far to state the subsection of which Dilly violated? Which a lot of people point out, including Critical, that, you know, if, they, if Dilly violated this, so did the commissioner. He engaged in harassment and, vi and uh, arguing with Dilly while talking about said controversial moment. So it's hypocritical for them to play this card when they in turn played it themselves. You know, they tried to play this off as everyone just sp spreading false lies and, you know, misinformation when really it was all truth and they were the ones spreading misinformation themselves. It was all this to try and spin a narrative, and I think I can faithfully say that rip and rest fate legions, because after this controversy, every time someone Googles your name, it's going to be the just this controversy. They're going to see how soy boy you are, and no one's going to want to compete in your baby bitch tournament. Here's the thing about teabagging. It's been around since gaming has existed. It's been around since Halo. It's been around since CSGO. It's been around since TF2. It's been around a long ass time. It's not sexual misconduct. It's not sexual harassment. It's just... It, it's just a thing in gaming. You don't see people actually out there teabagging people's corpses. Or else the graveyards would be littered with just degenerate fucks teabagging, you know, people's dead grandmothers. Teabagging in video games is just to kind of get in people's heads. There's no sexual harassment with it. There's no sexual meaning behind it. And I know this. Their whole point was that like we that somehow us the people pointing out the problems with this controversy, were trying to tie this all in with sexual harassment and conduct. We're really not because there is none. Teabagging is just, you know, a toxic way of getting into someone's head. It's one of the most classic tricks in the book where you just crouch up and down rapidly and make someone feel bad for what playing badly. Honestly, this whole controversy is stupid. I know Fate Legions will probably rebrand themselves at some point to try and, you know, cloak themselves under a different name to protect themselves from this controversy coming down the line later and biting them in the ass, but... I think you very well shot yourself in the foot when it comes to creating esports. Esports are going to be toxic. It'd be unsportsmanlike to not shake your opponent's hand after a match. It'd be unsportsmanlike to sit there and sulk and cry and break shit when you lose. That's unsportsmanlike. Taking it on the chin is sportsmanlike. Teabagging is not really that unsportsman unless you're just an asshole with it. Unless you're getting up in someone's face and constantly making them feel bad for it. That is when teabagging goes too far. But, hey, that's just my opinion. 
Fate Legions, I don't think you're going to make it past this one. I think you just speed ran killing an eSports commission. Well done. Also, I want to say, the guy who commissioned this, if you ever find this video and see what I have to say about this, this is my opinion of you. You're a giant soy boy that needs to actually experience some shit in the world. You probably got bulked up in tattoos just so you could feel tough. And I can say this stuff, because you put yourself out there on the internet as a commissioner of Fate Legions. So therefore, you're a public figure. Everything I say is just valid criticism. See you later.